Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Jess Farrell, and today I am being joined by Cornelia Helga Schulze. She is a best selling author. She's a contributor to Soul Mission, Leaders Ushering in the New Earth, and she is a world renowned medium. So I'm really happy to have you here, Cornelia. Welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm so excited as well. Um, and, I, you know, I'm just going to preface this by saying I have a window open. I don't have a fan to make myself look like Beyonce. Yeah. She's naturally occurring. <laughs> so um, I loved I loved your chapter that you submitted to, oh, to the motion. Um, mm-hmm. It was so good. It was it was one that I really felt like it was so helpful to the reader. And I've had other people say this as well who have read it because not only does it get into your personal experience, but it really like breaks down what you feel a soul mission is and how you came about being on yours. So, um, I would love to just hear like a little bit more about the work that you do with clients, what that looks like kind of on a day-to-day basis, if there's anything that you really specialize in or love working with, share us all the juicy tidbits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I had a training to become a coach, um, a systemic coach before I knew I was a medium, yeah, so, um, and um, I combined this perfectly, I would say, you know, I guess two weeks ago or so, someone asked me, yeah, but what's the advantage of having a coach who is a medium too, and I thought, oh, good question, I was not prepared to, to tell this, but, um, with that kind of coaching, you look into the system of the family, of the world the person lives in, who has is his position where, and what are the connections, and then there is that underlying uh, thing, the subconscious, and all the energy, it's like a spider's web, everyone has a position, and then the spider moves, and the others, they, they move too. Um, and then when I uh, discovered that I'm a medium too, I found out that I could use that to uh, make both parts better. Mm-hmm. Uh, that coaching part, because I, I really have the feeling and um, of course the information where to go um, in the beginning of, of my coachings or my, my programs. I know what the outcome will be. It's only the question, how do we get there? (laughs) (laughs) And it's not where I want them to go or so, but I know, okay, this is the healthy solution. That's the best possible option to go or so. And I mean, we take always a little detour. (laughs) And um, as a medium, it's the same. So um, when I get information, I can place them in better into the system. I yeah, I just say that now. <laughs> so, um, and give some explanation to people who have questions because sometimes yeah, you you have a reading and then someone tells you yeah, um, the origin is there and then you think and what? But <laughs> very often. <laughs> There's no further information. You have to find that out on your own. And so it's very helpful if I have that sense where this could be uh, placed. And so um, my work, as you were asking, um, yeah, I do offer readings. I like to do that and give information, but I also like to help to work with that. Yeah as I have all the possibilities due to my training. And so to give further information then, or further help than just an information, because when we get an information, 
then this is in our mental field thoughts yeah but the thoughts they they need to be embodied to to really become a solution become a thing and sometimes we think oh yes i understand that that was the moment when i heard that i have a lost uh, twin and i thought yeah okay i um i don't feel any grief or something so that's just i'm over it and i was not yeah <laughs> because i i thought yeah hmm, no parameters here i cannot do anything and then that's okay so i don't have to worry about it and that was something really deep and it took me almost a decade yeah so um it's not that I work on this every day, but it always came up again and again. And I said, yeah, but ah, I had this information. And, and so, and so um, I'm not so unusual. This happens to many people. And um, so I also offer for um, those who are not sure if they have abilities or so, but they're open to work with energies and information from spirit um, uh, I offer a package that's called finding closure. Yeah, just okay. We have a reading. We find out huge money block or whatever. Yeah, and then I offer okay. You can you can work on this uh, three sessions or four or whatever is needed, and um, just really to find closure and to cover all the side uh, the side effects. Yeah, so, and then it's. Then it's really over. Then, um, then you're done. <laughs> That's what I like when people really um, can start a new um, a new era in their life. And I also work with people who have spiritual abilities and know about it and work with it. Um, because we all have blockages, I I guess you too, yeah. And then you think, okay, I remember that I could, yeah, get this or that information, and now I I don't. It's like a writer's blockage or something. You know, you can do it, and it doesn't work. And then ask the question, why? And and we can go through this. Where's the origin? What to do? On on which level is that? And um i am a very old soul and um i have had so many past lives and past existences and um it happens that my clients are old souls too and they have very many problems that have their origin of course in a past life and um then I really, I, I always know uh, a way to approach this, to uh, find uh, the way to out of that mess, so to say, and make people uh, feel that they have that, their own uh, power back or that everything is under their control and not, yeah, I'm a victim of um, the universe. This is what happens very often and they say yes okay this is what is it mercury retrograde and my life is a mess mine is not yeah not because of mercury mine is a mess because of my own things that come up <laughs> and, and so i don't see myself as a victim of the planet or so <laughs> yeah yeah so i really like that people um get to know that even if there are huge blocks, you can always find an easy way, a very effective way, wood or over the mountain. And then um, you have the knowledge if something similar appears. You think, ah, oh, yeah, I, I now know I made it the last time. So this is the problem. I'm so sure I can overcome. So, um, and that is really empowering. As you can see, um, the silver lining. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely is. And it's, I, I find it so necessary and so important to go back to that original choice or the original trauma or original wounding. Because if not, it's like you're just constantly like trying to, like, I don't know, 
Yeah. <laughs> it happens again, it happens as often again as uh, until you find the true origin. And how boring is that to make a series about 12 times or 20 times or <laughs> over a decade again and again? <laughs> and then <laughs> it, it, it's all, and then uh, the universe, uh, our, our helpers, said and say, okay, she didn't get it when I send her a man with black hair. So next time she will have a fat one with blonde hair, and then she'll understand. No, she does not. <laughs> no. Yes. And you hear that so often when people are like, I don't understand. This keeps happening to me. Or it's like, I keep with that, with that example, I keep attracting the same type of relationships or I keep attracting, you know, I'll do well in my business and then I lose everything or expenses come in. And it's like these consistent patterns that, that, I mean, I think it's amazing that you're here helping people get to the root of those and move through because otherwise, it's like you said, you're going to keep making the same, the same things over and over again. We, uh, you know, the, the people who work with energy and um, spirit, we are so needed and we really have another uh, task to fulfill that is to. to to remake the same mistakes again and again. <laughs> and I want to say, if, if someone is able to identify that there's a pattern, then this is uh, advanced level, this is perfect. Sometimes they come and tell me, yes, I have this and that, and one is physical and emotional and whatnot. And I can see it, yeah, but there's the, the red line or the, the red thing, you know, um, I can see how all this is connected, and then I tell, oh yeah, this and that, and and this, and they say, what? <laughs> and then it all makes sense, and this is what I really hear very often. You know, oh, now it all makes sense, and then I see, yes, I'm happy because that gives you back the feeling that you can uh, manage this, and this is so important not to feel helpless, not to feel a victim. So I, I felt a victim, not of Mercury, but <laughs> energy to my family. Yeah, but um, uh, I'm 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 work in progress, but um, I don't feel a victim anymore. This is why I can say. <laughs> and it's so so interesting. It's like uh, I wrote in my chapter that. People really think that knowing what your mission is, yeah, that logical part, that makes it all easy. No, not in my case. <laughs> so if you hear that outside and you may be uh, experienced, yes. knowing that it simply makes everything okay, then please write me. I want to know your story. <laughs> See, I would be so interested. <laughs> Well, and so often we think that our mission is going to be like this exact like pinpoint on a map of this is exactly what you need to do. This is exactly how you need to do it. And so often it's more of just like you need to raise the consciousness or you need to spread joy or, you know, so often it, it's it's more of this um, broad feeling an overarching theme that a lot of people you know but they they you're right they want like this is exactly what you need to do and then once you get it it's like all of a sudden like the path clears and money is falling from the sky <laughs> and just yeah, like well, maybe it is yeah, but no. it's like, most of the time it's not long term yeah, <laughs> so, yeah totally. then there is the side uh mission yeah a second one or baby mission or something yeah and then you think ah oh, yes okay what's that <laughs> confusion uh starts and uh it's not so clear anymore <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm curious you know you were saying that the way that you work like you're you're taking all of these different things that people are experiencing and you're kind of seeing like what actually like the core thing is 
is that often, or, you know, it may be hard to say, but do you often find that that's so much different than what is manifesting in their life? Like that common, that common piece? Like, is it surprising? Um, that's difficult to say, but I will not say no. They're not really on the wrong track. Mm. That is what you want to know. But yeah. they really um, keep themselves off the right track. You can really manage your life to be constantly on the wrong path. <laughs> For for a different reason, yeah, maybe fear yeah, that uh, mission is too big or so, or just ignorance or um, being so busy with uh, the other things that you don't see that other easy mission that would be so much more <laughs> comfortable, so much more um, enjoyable to you, but then you stay on your track because you know it. And that's something very human. We, we we first do things we know, because then we think we can control them, and that that's really wrong. I do that myself, but it's completely wrong to think that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we um, you must do that, and um, yeah. But uh, there's always in the end, it's really we, in the end we have done our mission, even if it even if you didn't know that we have one as well. This is also what I write because some, some people, yeah, but I'm uh, 60 now and now I start with my soul mission. Isn't that too late? And I think, no, if there had been that mission before, it's so important. It would have been there. It would have been inevitable. So I would be walking around everywhere, here and there and sign. <laughs> and so, yeah. and so there's no age limit or so for so much. <laughs> Lucky. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, so what was your what was your experience like sharing your work in this chapter? Was there anything that um, kind of surprised you about the process or that you felt like it really helped you with? Um, I was surprised how easy that was, and the difficult part was to write just one chapter and not 1,000, because <laughs> I could really write 1,000 volumes, maybe only a decade or five, <laughs> and I put that in my first uh, draft, and I gave it to someone new, but she's an editor. And she was so confused, <laughs> and, ah, hmm. <laughs> and I thought, what does she, what does she want? And then we were talking about it, and I thought, yeah, that's too much information. And then I had to uh, focus on on one thing, and I the surprise for me was that I'm really good with my task, and I never had that knowledge about it. Before. And I thought, oh yes, that um, was too slow, or, or so. I was always criticizing myself, but um, while writing that chapter and then reading it again and again, I thought, yeah, but there, there had been a plan behind it. I, I just didn't realize that at the moment. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I found peace with some. Um, with that bad experience, I had my very first um, uh, contact to the deceased soul. Really, yeah, I always look back a little bit in anger, like the Oasis song, but um, <laughs> when writing that, I thought, yeah, but that was so necessary. Uh, if it hadn't been like that, I would not have um, looked for that coaching part and I, I helped a lot of people with contacting the deceased souls, but um, there's more, another empowerment that is also important because people then um, give that to their students or their colleagues when I do these coaching things with people who work with energy, so they can spread a little bit more. 
Okay, one saw here, very fine. I'm totally um, proud of it and proud and when people, they write me that their life had changed too much after a contact like that. But if I have a possibility to empower someone who becomes uh, a coach um, herself or a teacher, a mentor or so, then you can spread it more. And that's so important. I really, uh, I really want that as many people as possible um, feel empowered to really to, to have that coming out as a spiritual person. This is important for us. This is the new earth. We cannot continue um, like before. And um, yeah, I and mean, now we have that exit and it's not that uh, funny anymore when you say, yes, I'm a medium. <laughs> or in, in the 90s in Germany when people said, oh yes, everything is light and love. And the others were, oh. That was so boring, yeah. And now, now it becomes it becomes more and more natural. And people, managers and CEOs, they discover their their spiritual side, and then they write books about it. I, I know when I had a um, I had a coach for now I don't know the word in English, but yeah, to express yourself more um, powerful. Yeah, and then he launched his book on his spiritual side, and then I thought, oh yes, okay, good. <laughs> Finally, yeah, and he's working with a lot of men, and it's also important that not only women represent spiritual um, work. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Mom life. Yes, that's it's important. You're raising the next leaders. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I see that. <laughs> yes, it, it is important and it is very powerful work. Um, yes, for sure. And also, yeah. yes. so, do you know what? I have been really impressed by your work. Uh, as my publisher, because um, I never made such a positive experience with someone being so deeply spiritual and an energy channeling and doing that basic work of publishing something or doing a normal job or so, and that combination, how you did that, that was so good for me, and I felt so safe with all that. Yeah, um, from the beginning, when I saw that picture of yours and uh, what you wrote, and I thought, well, oh, that's so needed, that book, and I, I totally want to be in it. I hope she takes me. <laughs> oh. And um, yeah, that happened. The first manifestation happened. <laughs> um, yeah, so for me, that was really. Um, helpful and empowering, and you're such a perfect example for that combination of energy work, being a spiritual person, and being successful in a business, making money with that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that is also very important uh, to see and to feel and to progress, to expand. Thank you, Cornelia. It, um, it, has been, it has been lovely having you in the program and I appreciate those kind words. It, um, I agree, I think, it's, I think it's so important. You know, it used to be like even like 10, 15 years ago that if you were like deeply spiritual, like you weren't supposed to do this sort of thing or you weren't supposed to have a comfortable living or make money or any of that. And, you know, those I know are just patterns that are left over from like lifetimes ago of when we had those poverty valves. And it's like really 
once you dig through and clear those things, the more conscious people who have successful businesses and wealth, the more impact we're able to make on the world quicker, you know, because it's like every single thing we do, we're voting with our, with our energy. And if you have more of the energy of money, you're able to vote in more ways that are going to make those positive impacts. And um, yeah, so it's been, uh, you, you know how driven I am in this, in this mission and, and purposeful impact and all of that. So um, I appreciate your acknowledgement and thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Something I really feel and I, I, I really have felt a huge benefit from it for my inner security. Yes, I, I never published something uh, besides my website. Yeah, so, and um, yeah, and now I'm a best selling author thanks to you. So, hello. <laughs> Feel something a little bit. Um, surreal sometimes, yeah, but um, I get used to it. I, I decided I get used to it. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> Wear that proudly. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it was a lot of fun for me with this collaboration, you know, bringing all of you together. It's such powerful and dynamic energy within this group and within this book. And I think that really showcases so much in what all of you wrote. It's just just like, I seriously, and I think I've, I've mentioned this like a gazillion times, but every, like I, I read everyone's chapter probably like four plus different times. Yeah. And I would still be like, oh yeah, that's a really great piece. Like I was still pulling pieces out of it, like crying and giggling and just, feeling like all of these different um, levels of impact within myself. And so it was such an honor really um, supporting you and the, the entire collaboration in this process and to really getting your energies and your work out into the world because it's like, it needs to be like, you are, you have incredible abilities and the people who, who need to find you need to be able to find you. And so um, being able to be a catalyst for that has just been like the most beautiful thing I could imagine. So yeah, yeah I appreciate your, your trust and, and all of that. Um, so what, what do you have going on? Do you have any, any like signature programs you want to tell us about or anything that's coming down the coming down the, the wire for you that you're working um, on? Well, nothing exciting or more exciting than the rest of the house. <laughs> so I, I feel I'm still open for people who want to do the program with me. And this year I decided I will not do any online courses or so. I don't know. I'm I'm really a one on one person at the moment and people have so individual fears and um ways to to think. Um and I want to yeah, to honor that and be there for them individually and I cannot do this when I have an online course. But maybe in the future, you never know. <laughs> But so um, I, I have to place and there will always be possibility to, uh, to work with someone, of course. Awesome. So if someone is wanting to find out about working with you, where is the best way for them to, to find you? I mean, obviously we know Soul Mission and has all of your links and bios. Yeah. And <laughs> Yeah, I think you want to have an impression of how I, 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 you know, work or, or so then have a look on my beautiful website. So mm -hmm. I explain a lot, maybe too long sometimes. I try to cut it down a little bit. But <laughs> um, 
they can see, okay, this is the way how she approaches this and that, and this is the way to think. And then you can find out if you, um, if you're on the same um, level, if the vibration is okay. And then of course we have our, uh, and we have our call where we meet and find out if we can work together. So there's always that possibility. But as I'm so proud of this website, I would recommend to <laughs> look at the website. Awesome. Will you put the link in uh, the comments for us? Yeah, I do. Awesome. Awesome. Um, well, it was lovely to connect with you and share your expertise out with the world. Um, so anyone who is wanting the special type of magic that Cornelia has to offer, um, I will put the link in the, um, I'll put the link in the description of this and you can contact her directly, um, definitely pick up your copy of Soul Mission, Leaders Ushering in the New Earth. It's available on Amazon uh, in ebook and paperback. Um, it's also available for distribution if you know of anybody who wants to have it um, at their local bookstore, if you're a bookstore owner and you just feel like this would really serve your clientele, then definitely reach out to one of us. And um, I look forward to like seeing possibly helping you with these like thousands of books and pages and writings and all of that that are that are waiting to come out. <laughs> so. Yeah. so but we're waiting for Soul Mission the audiobook. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, and I just got that crazy idea myself. Sometimes maybe there will be a soul mission, the movie or something like making off one. You know, I, I actually had that thought yesterday. So <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> who, who knows what happens? I get yeah. all kinds of interesting thoughts and I just, I have to look at it as like, okay, um, this is an experiment and uh, I'm intending that it goes exactly how I'm imagining it um and however it's an experiment so yes we'll we'll, we'll see where that goes um, yeah and it's the whole mission or a mission this is becoming more and more popular mm -hmm. most of us here western world we have a really good life and then there's always the question what can I do um, more and Yes, of course, yeah, do charity and, and, and all that, but the spiritual development of people is just you know, inevitable. It's, it's coming and we cannot really avoid it. <laughs> so, um, and then the question of the mission is always there and some people see it and some people they don't, but they live it and that's, um, that's the interesting thing. Um, one thing I want to add, one of my clients, she, she told me lately that, of course, I am in a book like Soul Mission. All I do need is working with the soul. And then I thought, how does she mean that? Well, what does she want to say? And she said, yes, but the way we, we take away um, my blockages, then we find uh, the clear path mm. for my soul mission. or just find the connection, okay, that huge problem is part of the soul mission because my soul wanted to experience this and that. And then when I'm I'm done with that thing, then um, I continue maybe a better part of my soul mission. And then she said, this is your soul alchemist. And I thought, oh, that's such a lovely um, expression. And I will keep that. <laughs> I like that. For sure. There have been, you know, and another connection to our book, and I was so astonished I haven't seen that before. <laughs> I love it. I think you'll probably look back in a couple of years and see even more. So, yeah. <laughs>
Of course. Well, thank you for sharing and thank you for being here with us today. It was lovely to connect with you as always. And um, yeah, everyone pick up your pick up your copy of the book, read Cornelia and the other contributors stories. And I will put the link in for anyone to connect with you. Yeah. Have a good day. I'm so glad. Thanks, Jessica. Thank you.